Humanity's longest-running and most ambitious space mission, the Voyager program, has continually expanded our understanding of the cosmos. For decades, we believed our comprehension of the solar system was nearing completion, having catalogued most of its mysteries. However, space has a remarkable way of humbling our assumptions. Just when it seems we've uncovered every secret, new discoveries emerge, often unexpected and profound, reminding us of how little we truly understand. Among the most mind-bending revelations are those involving the Voyager probes, especially what they continue to uncover about the vast region beyond our solar system. Launched in the late 1970s, the twin Voyager spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have extended humanity's reach farther than anyone had imagined. Voyager 1 has journeyed beyond the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the solar wind, and now resides in interstellar space. But what's more astonishing is the emerging theory that our entire solar system, including the distant and still hypothetical Oort cloud, may be surrounded by an even larger structure, a colossal, mysterious bubble stretching about 1,000 light-years across. At the heart of this structure, intriguingly, sits our sun. The idea that we might be enclosed within such an enormous cosmic feature poses deep questions about our place in the universe and the nature of interstellar space itself, questions scientists are only beginning to explore. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a Titan Centaur rocket, just weeks after Voyager 2 departed on August 20. Both missions were initially planned to last five years, primarily to study the gas giants. However, these spacecraft have far surpassed all expectations. Over four decades later, they are still providing vital data. Their journey was made possible by a rare alignment of planets that occurs once every 176 years. This alignment enabled them to use gravitational assists, slingshot maneuvers, from Jupiter and Saturn, allowing the probes to gain momentum and save fuel as they travel deeper into the solar system. Although Voyager 1 was launched after Voyager 2, it reached Jupiter and Saturn first by taking a faster, more direct path. Voyager 2, on the other hand, took a trajectory that allowed it to become the only spacecraft to visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The scientific data gathered from these flybys radically changed our understanding of the outer planets, their rings, moons, and magnetospheres. Each Voyager spacecraft also carries a golden record, a symbolic interstellar message containing sounds, greetings, and music from Earth, a time capsule meant for any extraterrestrial intelligence that might one day encounter it. This poetic gesture is a reminder that exploration is not solely about acquiring knowledge but also about sharing the human story. As of early 2024, Voyager 1 is nearly 14.9 billion miles from Earth, approximately 158 times farther than the Earth is from the Sun. Voyager 2 trails behind but reached its own major milestone by crossing into interstellar space in November 2018, six years after Voyager 1's exit in August 2012. The moment Voyager 1 entered interstellar space was confirmed through its plasma wave instrument, which in 2013 picked up a massive solar eruption causing nearby electrons to vibrate. These oscillations allowed scientists to calculate the density of the surrounding plasma, which was significantly higher than inside the heliosphere. This confirmed that Voyager 1 had officially exited the Sun's magnetic influence on August 25, 2012. Although Voyager 1's plasma instrument had failed in 1980, Voyager 2's functioning plasma sensor supported the findings, giving scientists further confidence in their conclusions. What these spacecraft have revealed about the heliopores, the outer boundary of the heliosphere, is both fascinating and complex. The heliopause is not a static shell but a constantly shifting frontier where the sun's influence wanes and the interstellar medium begins. The sun, traveling through the galaxy at approximately 450,000 km per hour, generates a continuous flow of charged particles known as the solar wind. These particles form a magnetic bubble around the solar system, shielding us from harmful cosmic radiation. Without the heliosphere, life on Earth and throughout the solar system would be more vulnerable to high-energy particles that could damage biological systems and disrupt electronics. The boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space is far from uniform. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, it encountered magnetic fields two to three times stronger than scientists had anticipated. These fields exerted ten times the pressure on the heliosphere than previously thought. Though Voyager 1 could not provide plasma data due to its instrument failure, Voyager 2 filled in the gaps. It discovered that the plasma just outside the heliopause was denser, hotter, and slower, clear signs of a transition from the solar wind's influence to the realm of interstellar space. The heliopause, it turned out, was porous and flexible, allowing particles to flow in both directions. 
Even before crossing the heliopause, Voyager 1 detected streams of interstellar particles, indicating interaction with the interstellar medium long before a complete transition. Voyager 2 added to this picture by recording faint flows of low-energy particles more than 100 million kilometers beyond the heliopause. Interestingly, both spacecraft crossed the heliosphere at different positions. Voyager 1 exited through the nose, or leading edge, while Voyager 2 exited along the flank. These differences provided invaluable data, highlighting the heliosphere's asymmetry and its responsiveness to the galactic environment. However, neither spacecraft has traveled through the tail or wake of the heliosphere, leaving its full shape open to debate. Some models propose a spherical heliosphere, others a comet-like or even a croissant-shaped structure. Unfortunately, no current spacecraft has the power or positioning to resolve this mystery. Even the New Horizon spacecraft, one of the fastest ever launched, will fall short of the heliopause before it runs out of power in the 2030s. The limited reach of current missions has prompted growing interest in launching a new generation of interstellar probes that could gather more data points and finally clarify the heliosphere's true shape and behavior. Despite their age, the Voyager spacecraft continue to astonish. One of the most unexpected findings from Voyager 1 is the detection of a faint, low-frequency hum beyond the heliopause, believed to be caused by oscillations in the interstellar plasma triggered by solar activity. This hum differs from the sharp bursts associated with solar storms. Instead, it presents as a steady, continuous signal, suggesting the interstellar medium is more dynamic than previously assumed. Studying this signal allows scientists to map plasma distribution in deep space and refine models of how the solar wind interacts with the surrounding galactic environment. Even after more than 45 years in space, the voyagers remain newsworthy. In 2024, Voyager 1 experienced a major communication issue when its primary X-band transmitter stopped functioning. This seemingly catastrophic failure was mitigated by a remarkable engineering feat. NASA engineers detected a faint signal from the backup S-band transmitter, which had not been used since 1981. Dormant for over four decades, the backup system activated as part of the spacecraft's built-in fault protection software. Although the S-band transmitter could not transmit high-quality data, it confirmed that the spacecraft was still alive and functioning. Now, engineers are cautiously working to restore the X-band transmitter without destabilizing the spacecraft's delicate systems. With a round-trip communication delay of nearly two days, every command must be issued with extreme care and deliberation. The resilience and adaptability of the Voyager missions underscore the ingenuity of human engineering and our unyielding quest for knowledge. As these spacecraft continue their journey into the unknown, they carry with them not just instruments and data, but the enduring spirit of exploration that defines humanity. Humanity's longest-running and most ambitious space mission has redefined what we understand about our place in the universe. For decades, we believed our understanding of the solar system was nearing completion, that we had catalogued most of its mysteries and wrapped our minds around the framework of planetary orbits, the nature of moons, the composition of atmospheres, and the boundaries of solar influence. But space has a remarkable way of humbling our assumptions. Just when it seems we have uncovered every secret, new discoveries emerge, often unexpected and profound, reminding us of how little we truly understand and how much more lies beyond. Among the most mind-bending revelations are those involving the Voyager probes, especially what they continue to uncover about the nature of the vast region that lies beyond our solar system. These spacecraft, launched more than four decades ago, are not merely surviving in the harsh environment of deep space, they are thriving as scientific instruments, extending our senses far beyond the reach of any telescope. Their success is a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the drive to explore what lies beyond the familiar. Launched in the late 1970s, the twin Voyager spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have extended humanity's reach farther than anyone had imagined. These robotic explorers were initially tasked with a modest mission, a five-year tour of the outer planets. But their longevity and continued data transmission have made them scientific legends, giving us new perspectives not just on the gas giants, but on the boundaries of our solar system and the interstellar medium beyond. Voyager 1 has journeyed beyond the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the solar wind, and now resides in interstellar space. But what's more astonishing is the emerging theory that our entire solar system, including the distant and still hypothetical Oort cloud, may be surrounded by an even larger structure, a colossal, mysterious bubble that stretches about 1,000 light-years across. This immense void, known as the local bubble, is believed to have been formed by ancient supernova explosions that swept away gas and dust, leaving behind a cavity in the interstellar medium. At the heart of this structure, intriguingly, sits our sun. 
The idea that we might be enclosed within such an enormous cosmic feature poses deep questions about our place in the universe and the nature of interstellar space itself. What created this bubble? How does it interact with the heliosphere? Could it affect the paths of incoming cosmic rays or interstellar clouds? These are questions scientists are only beginning to explore, and the Voyager probes are key instruments in gathering the data required to find answers. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a Titan Centaur rocket, just weeks after Voyager 2 departed on August 20. Both missions were initially planned to last only five years, primarily to study the gas giants. But these spacecraft have far surpassed all expectations. More than four decades later, they are still providing vital data, often from regions no other spacecraft has ever reached. Their remarkable journey was made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This configuration allowed them to use gravitational assists, slingshot maneuvers from Jupiter and Saturn, that enabled the probes to gain momentum and save fuel as they traveled deeper into the solar system. This planetary grand tour was a unique window of opportunity that NASA engineers capitalized on with brilliance. Although Voyager 1 was launched after Voyager 2, it reached Jupiter and Saturn first by taking a faster, more direct path. Voyager 2, on the other hand, took a more circuitous trajectory that allowed it to become the only spacecraft in history to visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The scientific data gathered from these flybys radically changed our understanding of the outer planets, their complex ring systems, unique moons, and immense magnetospheres. Each Voyager spacecraft also carries a golden record, a symbolic interstellar message containing sounds, greetings, and music from Earth. Curated by a team led by Carl Sagan, this golden record is a time capsule meant for any extraterrestrial intelligence that might one day encounter it. Engraved with a map to Earth and instructions for playing the record, this poetic gesture reminds us that exploration is not solely about acquiring knowledge, but also about sharing the human story and extending a hand of curiosity to the cosmos. As of early 2024, Voyager 1 is nearly 14.9 billion miles from Earth, approximately 158 times farther than the Earth is from the Sun. Voyager 2, although slightly behind its twin in distance, reached its own major milestone by crossing into interstellar space in November 2018, six years after Voyager 1's exit in August 2012. These crossings are not just milestones in engineering, but also in science, as they mark humanity's first steps into true interstellar exploration. The moment Voyager 1 entered interstellar space was confirmed through its plasma wave instrument, which in 2013 picked up a massive solar eruption that caused nearby electrons to vibrate. These oscillations allowed scientists to calculate the density of the surrounding plasma, which was significantly higher than inside the heliosphere. This shift confirmed that Voyager 1 had officially exited the Sun's magnetic influence on August 25, 2012. Although Voyager 1's plasma instrument had failed in 1980, Voyager 2's functioning plasma sensor later supported these findings, giving scientists further confidence in their conclusions.